Hello, welcome back to Tech with Kobo. In today's video, we are going to learn how to export or backup a virtual machine by using VMware Workstation Pro. So whether you are safeguarding your project or preparing to move your VM to another system, this step-by-step -step guide will make the process simple and foolproof. All right, let's dive in. So when trying to export or backup your virtual machine, there are two main ways of doing that. But in this particular video, we are going to focus on exporting the VM by using the um, OVF. So before you can export your virtual machine, it needs to be shut down. You cannot have your virtual machine turned on whilst you want to export it. That's not possible. And then also, if the VM is on a suspend state, you also need to um, discard the suspend state of that particular VM before you can export it. So here in my VMware Workstation Pro, you can see that there is no VM powered on. So I'm going to power on one of them to explain what I was saying. So I'm going to power on the Dell Inspiron. All right, so once my Dell Inspiron is being turned on, when you want to export this virtual machine, you will come to file and then you click export to OVF. So you can see here that export to OVF has been grayed out. It, it's not activated. So I cannot click to continue the process of exporting the virtual machine. So that tells us that you cannot export a VM whilst it is running. So I'm also going to suspend the states of this virtual machine. So I'll come to power and then I'll go to suspend guests. So this VM has now been suspended. Let's see if it can be exported. So I click file. And then export to OVF is still grayed out, which means I cannot export it. So in two of these instances, whether you, if you want to export a virtual machine and you have any of these instances, you need to discard the state of that virtual machine before you can um, export it. So I'm going to right click this one, go to power and then I click power off. So I'll discard the state to turn this particular virtual machine off and now I am ready to export it. So I'll click file again and then this time I go to export to OVF. So here I'll navigate within my file explorer and look for a location where I want to save the exported virtual machine. So I'll double click in this directory and then I'll go to exported VMs. So here I have to create another folder to host this particular VM that I'm exporting just in case um, I have another VM that I want to export so that the configuration files will not be mixed up. So here I will type Dell Inspiron, Dell Inspiron, and then I click save. So the moment I do that and click save, the process of exporting the virtual machine starts. So it's going to, you are going to see the progress bar, it's going to continue with exporting the VM. So an exported VM or a backed up VM can be transferred to another system. So let's say that on this system that I am running this virtual machine after exporting, I can just use um, a USB storage device to copy the exported VM, take it to another system and go and run it from there. I can also upload it to cloud. Whenever I lay hands on any computer at all, I can just log into that cloud storage service um, pull that particular uh, VM that I exported to cloud and then run it from that system that I will be using. So backing up or exporting your virtual machines is very, very important. All right, so let's sit tight to wait whilst our VM is being exported. All right, so we can see how fast the process is. It doesn't take too long to export a virtual machine at all. So it all boils down to your system. But at the initial stages of the exporting, the system tries to compile the configuration files of the VM before it continues copying them. But after doing that, the process is very, very fast. It doesn't take too long at all. All right. So after exporting, we are going to check the configuration files 
within the directory where we exported the vm2 so we can see it's done with exporting so let's go to um the directory so virtual machines and then exported vms dell in spiral so these are the configuration files of the exported virtual machine so when you want to import it back this is the file that will show and this is the hard drive or the virtual disk for the virtual machine so when you want to transfer it to another system it means you you have to copy this entire um, folder containing the configuration files to um, launch them or open it on another system so that is it for exporting your vm or your, um, or your virtual machines it's very easy like i said so if you found this video very helpful kindly don't forget to like to subscribe and to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from tech with kobo if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials kindly drop them in the comment section below see you in the next video and thank you for watching